Well, we broke in a week into the month of July, and so far, July has brought in at least some areas of those showers and thunderstorms that have brought us just to about a tenth of an inch of precipitation. So a small deficit there has started to build even just in this first week. But we also have noted that with some more active weather conditions, temperatures have been staying a little cooler than normal. So our average temperature is nearly five degrees below normal. But these numbers are going to change. What we're going to see is that there's going to be a flip in that average temperature, as what we are seeing is that not only here for this week ahead, but our 10 day outlook and even our 14 day outlook shows that the state of Wyoming is expected warmer than normal temperatures. Not only just Wyoming, much of the continental of 48 is dealing with some warmer than normal conditions. Now, when it comes to precipitation, we aren't seeing a drenching forecast, but we're also seeing that there isn't those very dry conditions in place. So we could talk some thunder chances, especially as we head into early next week. But these next seven days, they are looking to bring very limited thunder risk, meaning very limited rain risk, and that keeps us underneath those blue skies, which is going to take hold with that warming trend. We are noting that much of the western portions of the United States, areas of California, up through Washington, Nevada, down through areas of Arizona, dealing with some big heat that's building in, and we're going to start to tap into that here locally, and that's even going to bring the potential for some triple digits this weekend, and that could even be some record uh, records on the board. Pairing up with the quiet skies, note that with those dry conditions, we have to keep an eye on some fire concerns. We do have low winds, but still with how warm we are and how dry conditions are, we have to keep an eye that any little flame could spread. We don't see too gusty of winds, but again, any type of wind could be in place here. We are underneath some pretty variable winds, but with that abundant sunshine and the potential to continue to pull that warmth in, we are watching that we are going to be back up towards more near normal high temperatures for July across much of the state from 81 into Yellowstone, 88 into Rock Springs, 91 into Riverton, 85 into Gillette to 88 into Casper. And a normal high is about 87 degrees. So not far off there from a normal June, June high or July high. Now as we head into Wednesday, we start to see the warming trend that takes hold. Temperatures jump anywhere from about 2 to 5 degrees. And that's what we're nearly going to see every single day from our Tuesday into that Saturday forecast. So note that the heat's only going to continue to build. And it's paired up with that blue sky. So we have to make sure to be taking those precautions to beat the heat. Now, as mentioned, when it comes down to wind, not big concerns on gusty winds. We see that though there is at least a, that southwesterly wind, which is one going to feed in that heat. And then we'll have to keep an eye on maybe some of these days up to some 15 mile per hour winds as there is still some potential again with how dry conditions are that fires could spread. But we will continue to watch the heat build and see that the warmest of the conditions will definitely be settling in here as we head into the weekend.